There's something about going through the seasons whilst renovating a house alone. Especially one that's secluded and surrounded by forest. You're spending so much time outside, working, cutting wood, painting. And you really know it's raining when it does because you can't be outside to sand. Or you catch the sight of the moon in the sky when you go outside at night. I watched the leaves fall in autumn and at the same time witnessed life blossom in the smallest of things and on the coldest days. Right now I'm renovating my kitchen. I built all the countertops and I'm about to build a large shelving unit. There are just countless important projects I should or could be doing right now, but sometimes I just need to deal what's actually needed. Like, clean the mess that's been lying outside for the past year. I have piles of garbage, old wood, plant pots, all collecting dirt around the house. So, I guess that's going to be my first job this week. Just clean up a little. I am going to start my week by transforming my stove area, which I'm very excited about because I haven't touched it yet at all. And wow, it's the one corner of this room that looks awful. <laughs> I will be painting, applying some wood and making lots of big transformations in small ways. Right now the whole thing is baby blue, which is really not a color I would choose for myself. <laughs> but. And because I'm working inside, it does mean that I get to do my favorite background renovation activity, which is watching movies and TV shows in the background. Now, I recently ended my Netflix subscription, so I am currently scouring the entire internet for fun things to watch everywhere, like the CW website, which doesn't work in Sweden. And that brings me to today's sponsor of the video, which is NordVPN. Now I think lots of us find it really useful to be able to change your IP address so you can watch content that would otherwise only be available in other countries. But there's actually an aspect to VPNs, which I think is a lot more important and valuable, which is that VPNs protect you from all sorts of online threats and attacks. Honestly, I may or may not have found myself on some dodgy websites to try and stream movies that have all sorts of like ads popping up and it can be really tricky to try and avoid them and accidentally clicking on these things can invite all sorts of malware onto your computer and compromise your entire system or your passwords and login details. In fact, I'm pretty sure that happened to me once years ago. And that's why NordVPN has a threat protection feature which keeps you safe from exactly those type of risks. So if you connect to a VPN first, it will encrypt all of your data as you use the internet and keep you safe from all of these attacks. Another thing I really like is that NordVPN has this dark web monitor which checks if any of your details have been leaked online, which I think is particularly useful. So this is the deal. NordVPN will be having a deal where users can get a huge discount when they purchase a two-year plan and they get four additional bonus months for free. <laughs> 
And that is an added perk specifically if you sign up through my link, which is nordvpn.com slash wildrosy. It's completely risk-free as NordVPN has a 30-day money-back guarantee. So get yourself some protection. And for now, I am just going to use NordVPN for this. So much for my let's clean the ceiling day. Oh gosh. This is such a beautiful example of everything going wrong. I wanted to take out this bit of timber. This like timber paneling. It's stuck behind all of the like rendered sections and behind the tiling. So I like half got rid of it. And now it's a huge mess and now I have to just keep it because it's not worth the effort to take it out. And the hope that it doesn't look too crooked because obviously there's this layer of thin ply at the bottom but there isn't at the top. To be honest though, even though this has the ply, that has about eight layers of wallpaper. So I think this ice maybe, maybe it evens out.
It took me a really long time to decide which grass trimmer to buy or which machine at all to buy. I actually have a lawnmower, like a hand pushing one, but the grass here is so long and it's so thick as well that it doesn't do anything. I decided to get one of these things, decided to get an electrical one so it's just very easy for me to use and I got one that was affordable as well. Cutting the grass is actually fun. <laughs> it can get through all the thick grass and stuff and the yeah but it, I have a lot of <laughs> I have a big plot well not big but it's big to to clear on my own but I I feel sort of sad about it because I really really like the look of the long grasses and I just think it's so scenic and it just I don't know it has this very romantic feeling but winter is coming it's all going to die off anyways i thought maybe this is a good time to update you on the chimney situation because i had someone look at it and he was up on the roof and i was looking at him looking into the chimney and he said i would really love to tell you that you could just start you know firing up your fireplace but this is one of the worst chimneys i've seen in years <laughs> So no fireplace for me just yet. He did give me a number of someone who could, you know, be good to fix this. The thing is that all of the bricks have collapsed inside the chimney inwards. So they're on top of all of the pipes. It was quite interesting because he was telling me how the fireplace actually works. Because I have one of those Swedish stoves, which would be amazing because that small stove can heat up the entire house. But I also have a fireplace in the living room and it's very small. It's just these two tiny doors that you open up. The space is very small. The build out from the wall is a bit bigger. These type of fireplaces are actually very efficient because they heat up the brick and the brick stays warm for a long time. There's four pipes inside and on top of the fireplace, they actually don't just go straight up. They go around to the side go down and then they go up so the entire fireplace the entire build out gets heated up and stays warm for a long time so that was really interesting to find out uh, yeah so no fireplace no fireplace approved <laughs> and i will be using my oil radiator just like last year that's it it will be pricey I will try to be careful and not use it too much and just heat the room in which I sleep and live and work and I'll just keep the rest of the house will just be cold so but it would be amazing to have a fireplace I've never lived anywhere with a fireplace I think that would change so much about the entire experience of living in this house This brick is from inside my chimney.
finally time to paint the ceiling. I've got this really, really light grey. I did a bit of prep earlier. I've got some of the ceiling bits that were unpainted or because there were cupboards. Some areas are unpainted or a completely different colour. I painted some white on top of it. So everything is a little bit more equal. Oh, I do need to tape everything. I fixed some of those cracks up there on this little stove chimney area. That's what we have underneath there. And then I'm going to paint this green and then the ceiling is going to be the, the white, the slightly greyish white. I really should have got the wider tape. I'm just going to start with this bit. Do the first corner. I've never painted the ceiling before. Actually. Oh no, I have in my toilet. Yeah, I can do this. Just paint. I can paint. Okay, not good. Not good. Not good. Damn. Take two. The slow route. That thing is dripping. I don't know. Well, I guess this way I can get into the cracks better. But. It's gonna take a while. Sage green. Mm. All right, here we go. Ah, yeah. Yes. Oh, this is so much better. Bye, baby blue. Oh, I love these little rollers. They're so fast. <laughs> oh, wow. Imagine this entire unit up here, which is going to be this colour. I think it's going to be so nice.
I have to say I am very happy with the way this looks. The funny thing with the sage green is that it actually looks blue in the space. <laughs> There's no direct light. It's a very dark corner, but I do really like it. I have two layers of the sage green and I also put green on this little beam because that is where I'm going to have the shelving units build around it. I am very looking forward to getting rid of this unfinished area here. Oh, I can't wait for this. You know, the most amazing thing is how this how this miraculously has is almost symmetrical around this door and I, I never even measured for it. I just started lining the wall on that side because I wasn't quite sure at the time how far the counter was going to come out. So when I'm finished, this doorway will be about 600 mil, which is about 200 mil <laughs> narrower than it used to be. But it's okay, it's still a, a wide enough doorway to use. All the others are going to remain their original size. So when it comes to bringing in furniture, it's not an issue. In fact, I think this is the same width I used for the toilet door. It's like this mountain of stress just washes away just because things look clean. Well, almost. In an ideal world, I would be decorating this with flowers, but no, my very ugly oven lives here, but let's just forget about that for now. Ceiling has been done, the sage green has been done, and I fixed these finer wood panelling to the wall. It makes a world of difference. My sunflower is dying, but it's been gracing my house for a while and I'm very happy when I bought it inside. This has turned into such a beautiful doorway. Imagine when this opens into a beautiful room as well. So the next project is to finish the shelving unit. Shelving unit that starts right here and continues into the back. It will include space for a bin, space for food storage, and the fridge will be included inside of it. 
On the other side, on the back side of this unit, I will have a wardrobe for my coats, which is essentially right next to the little recessed cupboard, which I made in the last video. And I am really looking forward to, to making this, or to finishing it, or to making it, not quite sure. <laughs> Don't know which one will be more fun. <laughs>